Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And he is so worthy. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I can't do it without Jesus. I don't know if I'm coming or going if I don't have him. I can't even comprehend without Jesus. Whenever I'm going through something, I know he's the only person that I can count on, depend on, rely on. Whenever I'm going through something, he's the only one that I can talk to and I don't have to worry about my business being spread all over the streets, all over social media. When I don't have nobody else, I got Jesus. When everybody turn their back on me, Jesus is still right there rocking with me. That's why I praise him the way I do. Not because I want something. Not because I'm in need of anything. I do it because Jesus is my healer. He is my protector. He is my provider. He is my everything. He is my first love and my only love. At the end of the day, as long as I have Jesus, I got everything I need and more. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands. And he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life or even your prayer closet room. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today. Please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today on this beautiful, blessed day. This amazing day. This marvelous day, Father God. This to be in your presence, Father God. Just to soak into your words and soak into your promises, Father God. Because, God, your words are true and your promises are everlasting. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you guiding us and directing us. We thank you, Father God, how you ordering our steps. We thank you, Father God, that we can talk to you about everything, God. We thank you, Father God, because you're always available, Father God, that you're always working, Father God. But, Father God, you don't take no time off, Father God. And, Father God, whatever it is, God, what we are going through, what we're facing, Father God, that we can always count on you. We can always depend on you. We can always rely on you, Father God. And, Father God, you make it so possible, Father God, that we can open our heart up, Father God, and just release whatever it is that we got going on right now today, Father God. And we can release it to you. Because, Father God, you understand what we are going through. You understand what we are facing, Father God, even through our hardships. Even through our difficulties, even through our hurt and our pain, God, your words today, we need to cast all things to you because it is you that cares for us, Father God. And Father God, we are casting everything to you right now today, Father God, because your word tells us in 1 Peter 5 and 7. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your love. We thank you, Father God, for your patience. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message right now today, Father God, that's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. There's no other place, Heavenly Father God, that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, giving you all thanks, giving you all praise, giving you all glory. We magnify your name right now today, Jesus. We worship your name right now today, Jesus. We glorify your name right now today, Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and she never turn back void today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. 
Did I know for a fact that you're about to show up? Did I know for a fact that you're about to show out? I believe and I declare and I decree right now today that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give that life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will and you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here in my sister's homes, right here in my sister's life, right here in my brother's homes, right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my sister's and brother's life right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move supernaturally right now today. I'm asking you, Father God, for healing. I'm asking you, Father God, for restoration. I'm asking you, Father God, for a miracle. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for a blessing, for a breakthrough, for you to open up some doors for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send the rain in my brothers and sisters' harvest right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send them the help that they need right now today, Father God. And Father God, I'm asking you and I'm pleading with you, Father God, for you to open up some doors right now today. Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for confirmation for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to send them a sign right now today, Jesus. Send them an angel right now today, Father God. Over here, Father God, it's not too hard. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. And I believe and I declare and I'm standing in the gap right now today for all my sisters and all my brothers claiming that it is done right now and we receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you're a comforter. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our mind, so we hear your soft, still voice. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before, so we catch the Holy Ghost fire right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before. So I want you to touch every last one of us right now. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sin today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray. Praise and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today in one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for the service. I'm available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. Enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I'm, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more and I want more and I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Today's word is one day. One day, my sisters, one day, my brothers. Don't y'all guys ever, ever lose hope in believing that one day that your situation, your circumstances is going to change. And the Lord spoke this word to me. To let you know right now today, my sisters, to let you know right now today, my brothers, it will not be too much longer for your situation to change, for your circumstances to change. He spoke this word, said it would not be too much longer, but he wants you to have, continue to have trust in him, continue to have hope in him. He know how painful it is for you right now. He know that you're going through some things right now. 
He knows that you're unhappy right now. He even know that you even think that you he he even know that you think that you that he forgot about you. But he's he's telling you right now today. He's giving you reinsurance right now today that he has not forgotten about you. You stay on his mind all day long, my brothers and sisters. So that's why he's speaking his word and say one day. It's all going to turn around. That pain that you're feeling right now is going to turn to tears of joy. That difficult right now today is going to turn to tears of joy. That suffering right now that you're going through right now is going to turn to tears of joy. One day. Some of y'all think it's going to take a long time. But God said, one day, all is going to turn around. Right now, he's just testing you. Just to see, are you going to continue to hold on? He is testing you just to see, are you still going to believe in him? He is testing you just to see, are you still going to have hope in him? You don't came this far, my sisters. You don't came this far, my brothers. Continue to hold on. There's no need for you to let go right now. Look how far the Lord has brought you. Do you ask the thing he has forgotten about you? Look how far the look how far the Lord has brought you. Do you actually think He's gonna leave you on the side of the road and say, "I'm gonna leave you right there. I ain't gonna do nothing for you." He does not rock like that. He does not get down like that. Man will let you down, but Jesus say, "I got your back." But He won't ask my sisters and brothers to have hope in Him and have trust in Him and say, "It will not be too much longer." The sun is gonna shine. Rain is gonna come. He know that you've been in the drought. He know your finances have been in the dark place. He know your health been in the dark place. He know your dreams and your business been in the dark place. He know that your relationship and your marriages has been in the dark place. But God said, I am the light and I am the way. I am the alpha and the omega. God says, is there anything, glory and hallelujah, too hard for me? And there's nothing. I mean absolutely nothing. Too hard for Jesus. And I believe and I declare right now today, it won't be too much longer. It won't be too much longer that you will not continue to live paycheck to paycheck. It won't be too much longer that you ain't got to continue to borrow money from people. It won't be too much longer that you ain't got to continue to live on government assistance or you're sleeping on somebody's couch or you're in somebody's household that does not belong to you. It won't be too much longer that you ain't got to continue to work these jobs and not paying you the money what you deserve or what you are qualified for. God is in the business to bless you, my sisters. God is in the business to bless you, my brothers. The Lord is in the business to turn your situation around. And he's going to do that in one day. I ain't say one week. I ain't say one month. I didn't say one year. He said, one day. That's all he needs. One day. Can you continue to have hope in the Lord? Even though you're going through what you're going through. Can you, can you continue to seek him? Even though you're going through what you're going through. Can you continue to praise him and worship him? Even though that you are going through what you are going through. Can you still keep your eyes focused on Jesus? Can you still hold on to his unchangeable hands? Even though that you're going through what you're going through. Because it don't take but Jesus but one day. And he's going to turn around for you. It takes Jesus one day and he can fix it. It takes Jesus one day and he can turn it around. One day. Do you believe in your one day? Do you have hope in your one day? Do you have trust in your one day? Do you believe that your miracle can come to pass in one day? Do you believe that God can open up doors for you in one day? Do you believe that the Lord can put you at the right place at the right time in one day? I believe in one day. It won't be too much longer. It won't be too much longer, my sisters. It won't be too much longer, my brothers. It's all boiling down now. It's, it's all down here right now. You might as well go ahead and rejoice right now. You might as well go ahead and praise right now. You might as well go ahead and worship a little bit right now. You might as well go ahead and shout a little bit right now because it won't be too much longer, my brothers and sisters. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but the Lord reassures that it will not be too much longer. 
it won't be too much longer. The countdown has already begun on you, and you don't even realize it. It won't be too much longer. Are you following what I'm saying? Let's turn our Bibles to 2 Peter chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 9. That's 2 Peter chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 9. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promises, as some of us understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. I'm going to go back again. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, in a thousand years, or what? Like one day. Even though that pain seems like it's a thousand years. Even though they hurting, seem like it's a thousand years. Even though they're suffering, it seems like it's a thousand years. But those thousand years, he could turn around in one day. Do you believe in your one day? Is the point I'm making to somebody right now today. Who believe in that one day? Who believe in that one day? Do you really have hope in the Lord that he can turn your thing, your situation around in one day? I believe you, my sisters. I believe you, my brothers. But I believe in Jesus even more that he will going to turn your situation, your circumstances. He's going to turn around in one day. And he reassured that it will not be too much longer that you got to continue to go through what you're going through. It will not be too much longer that you got to continue to go through what you are facing, what you are, what you are enduring, because he's about to turn around in one day. Don't lose hope, my sisters. Don't lose hope, my brothers, because one day all this is going to turn around. And if you know that the Lord is talking to you, and you know that, and you know for a fact that He's speaking to you, say thank you, Jesus, because I know one day it's going to get better. One day the sun is going to shine. One day it's going to rain. One day these tears I've been rolling down my face will be tears of joy. And if you know this word touch your spirit today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button to as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. But I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know me. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm seven minutes LT. I love every last one of y'all. Just remember, one day, it won't be too much longer. Your situation is going to change for the better. And one day, I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.